Fine, big baby, I'll share. Well, what's the ginger thing you said? Oh, I said this time it's killing the ginger. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dog Pound. I'm your host, M Dog, and I hope you guys enjoy your time spent here with us. I got a pretty cool video planned for you all today. But before we get started, you can help us out a lot by smashing that like button and then smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content. You guys help us out tremendously just by doing those couple of things and it doesn't cost you anything but a few seconds of your time. You can also follow me on these other social media platforms at the Dog Pound with M Dog and you can also watch our videos over on Rumble at Dog Pound with M Dog. That's all one word spelled just like you see it right here at the bottom of your screen. And if you'd like to help us out in a big way by making sure we are able to keep producing new content every week, you can help by becoming a member of our Dog Pound family by clicking on that membership button. If you become a channel member, you'll receive discounts on all Dog Pound merchandise, get early access to all of our new videos, have first dibs on any new merchandise that we release, and get your name added to the credits of all of our videos. You can help us out also by picking up one or two of these very cool Dog Pound t-shirts. Now, let's get started. I'm heading out to the range to do the 500 round review on one of my favorite big bore compact EDC pistols that Tammy has been trying to confiscate from me lately because of her newfound affection for this caliber. And the pistol that I'm talking about is my Gen 3 Glock 30. That is chambered in Tammy's new favorite caliber and one of my all-time favorite pistol calibers, 45 ACP. And as you can see, the weapon is safe. There is nothing in the chamber. There is nothing in the magwell. All of our weapons are spot checked by me prior to each and every video to make sure everyone stays safe and sound here on set. So, we're good. Now, since this is the 500 round follow-up review on this pistol, I'm going to be focused on how it's performing out on the range instead of all the technical stuff about the Glock 30 since I've already covered most of that in the previous videos that I've done on this gun. We are just going to have some fun with this stubby dude with an attitude and make sure it's still performing like we know it should. If you haven't had the chance to watch the initial review, the next 100 round follow-up review, and the 300 round review that I've done on the Glock 30, then I hope you take the time to check them out. You can find all those videos right here on my channel under the playlist titled Glock Firearms for your convenience. I hope you guys enjoy them. But before I get too carried away, let's take a quick look at the specs on this Gen 3 Glock 30 chambered in 45 ACP. The ammunition that I'm going to be shooting today are these 230 grain full metal jackets from Arms Corps. I've used this ammo plenty of times in the past and it's always been very reliable range ammunition. I have used various types of ammo in this Glock 30, including the ammo that I normally carry in it for personal defense, 
the Federal 230 grain Hydroshock jacketed hollow points. This Glock 30 has had no issues with any of the ammo that I've used in it and it has been 100% reliable, which is why it is in my EDC rotation, unless Tammy sneaks it out of the boom boom room and confiscates it from me. And with that being said, it's time to do what we came here to do and that's sling some bullets at that splatter burst target that we've got set up downrange. After we've had some fun, I'll see you guys back here in the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts. What's up everybody and welcome to a beautiful evening, hot evening, on the range. And yes, Tammy's already complaining about the heat. I'm going to throw you out there because you are crying a little bit. How does that cry about the heat? I have out. In fact, I'm sweating. <sighs> There's a difference. How, how is there a difference? Because sweat. Well, what's the ginger thing you said? Oh, I said the sun is killing the ginger. <laughs> yeah. And it is. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But chill. Ginger. Uh, okay. Look, okay. she got did head hair. Head hair. You know, <laughs> no. Did you just. I just say so y'all understand. I, I, I hurry up and bounce from work. So, you know, we could come, I could come to the range, think we'll have a fun afternoon, and this is what I get. You don't want to put the hat back on. Because I would. Why'd you pull it off my head? We're at the range today with one of my favorite EDC pistols and it's chambered in a caliber that Tammy has a new fond love for. So here it is little stubby the Glock 30 and it is chambered in the Lord's caliber 45 ACP. Glock 30 is a great little carry gun and I say little it's not really little mm -hmm. um, without the mag in it as you can see I mean it's my, my hand is Sasquatch hands, but the pinky's got nowhere to go. You put your flush, with the, what they call their flush fit mag, it has a, um, an extender sort of on the base of it, and it, it, my, my pinky is able to rest on that, so it's not so bad. And then, of course, we have the 13 round mag, which fits me the best is what I carry. Uh, but we have the two 10 round mags, we have the 13 round, so we're going to try that with you and see if you get a better grip with either... I mean, because you may do better with the smaller, uh, smaller mag. Just, just depends on how you shoot. So, we've done enough talking. We're both sweating, and I think it's time to sling some some bullets at these ugly targets, right? Mm -hmm. They're not ugly. Sorry, splatter burst. They're actually great targets. Thank you for your help. I appreciate you. They're gonna be ugly here in a minute. <sighs> Isn't that the She's point? talking some mess, and they will see. That's the point. Anyway. It's time to shoot. All right, so we're going to start off. I'm going to start off shooting it first. And I've got the 13 round extended mag for the uh, Glock 30, which makes it really nice for me. This gun is sweet. very nice shooting gun I call it little stubby for a reason it's very stubby and it's got some a little bit of recoil I mean but it's a it's a compact 45 so you gotta take the good with the bad I mean she's gonna she's gonna let you know that you know you're holding a, a real gun so with that being said the performance has been flawless loved every minute of it so far
There you go. There you go. Okay, it took me some work, but I got there. Okay. All right, we're back to the 10 round mag. I love this little gun. Alright, we got the 13 round back. I think we'll do some double tapping this time. Smooth as butter. Back to the 10 round. Hands are sweaty. That one actually slipped a little bit in my hands. not making excuses all right so after this one here this will put us right at the 100 maybe 102 something like that rounds total since we've been out here today so far got no complaints it's a great little carry gun uh, if you're interested in carrying a compact uh, large caliber just perfect I mean you know, like I said, it's big, it's I call it its little brother, the the Glock 36, you know, single stack. Um, you got a smaller grip, of course, but I like the the extra grip. Probably not great for Tammy, where she her hands are small, and um, you know, it's just something you got to need to go probably pick up, put in your hands, get a feel for it uh, before you make the purchase. But it is a great option for anyone looking for a nice compact 45 caliber so let's finish this thing off And that's it. 100 rounds don't take long when you're having fun. Thank you all so much for being out here with us on the 500 round follow-up review of Little Stubby. Glock 30. Chambered in 45 ACP. Oh, you th you're making fun of his name? Don't make fun of his name. You give him a complex. He's a cool it's not little. his fault he's a little stubby. He's a cool little stubby. Yes, he is. Very cool. Like I said in earlier you know, in the video, if you get a chance to get to a range, there's a lot of ranges out there, a lot of good ranges uh, that have the ability to rent uh, different handguns. This is probably one that you would want to take the time and rent before you purchase. Simply because it is, you know, the grip is very small. You know, I mean, pinky's way off here in left field somewhere. But, you know, depending on the size of your hands. Um, you know, as you can see, the gun is a com nice compact 45 cal. It's not terrible to shoot. It doesn't have much recoil. I say much. It, it's a 45. Uh, don't get it twisted. But it's not. It's not. It's it's very manageable for someone of any stature. It was fine. It was fine for me. Yeah. It just the grip is a little wide. Yeah. Uh, on on you know, but like I said, if that's the case, 
the Glock 36 would probably be something that you would want to look at. You got pretty much the same gun, a little smaller, with a single stack mag, if you want to carry the single stack 45. And, you know, what can you say? It's a Glock, you know it's going to work like it's supposed to. Uh, whether you're a Glock fan or not, Glocks work uh, very seldom do they have one that, that malfunctions in any way. Um, that's why they've been around as way well, you know as long as they have. That's why so many law enforcement agencies use them. Um, so you know Glock is very trusted in the industry. Great gun, not horribly expensive, but either way, um, if you get a chance, go to a range, pick one up, try it out. That way you'll know. That way you don't you know you don't always spend your hard-earned money on something that isn't going to be right for you. Uh, some people may not like 45s, it might be too much. Well, you know, go with the 9. I mean, 9s are great. So, either way, we hope you enjoyed the video, uh, the 500 round review. We hope you spent, uh, hope the time that you spent here with us was, was worth it because we truly appreciate all you. We truly appreciate all your support. We couldn't, be, we couldn't do what we do out here without you. And, you know, you keep us going. So, thank you so much for that. Tammy and I love you guys very much. Don't forget the 5,000 subscriber giveaway is going on right now. We're getting down there now. I think we've, we're, we're right at, I think, 4,900. Yeah, so we're, we're getting real close. So we love you. Get yourself hooked up with Dog Pound Family on the comments and get entered to win. You're going to get a cool prize. At least one person is going to get a cool prize. So hopefully it'll be you. Until next time, Tammy and I love y'all. We're getting out of here. And we'll see you then. Glock 30. Little stubby. And yes, my dog pound family, this is one bad little dude. See you at the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts. You kind of just like left out there, aren't you? <laughs> Welcome back to the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts on the 500 round follow-up review of the Gen 3 Glock 30 chambered in the always popular 45 ACP. This pistol makes me like it a little bit more after every range session that I have with it. It remains a reliable powerhouse and a great option for anyone who is looking to add a compact 45 to their concealed carry rotation. The recoil is very manageable for me, but it is a compact 45, so there's going to be recoil and a little bit of muzzle rise, so just keep that in mind if you're considering a new Glock 30 or a Glock 36. The Glock 36 is slightly smaller than the Glock 30 and it has a single stack grip. Both are great options if you want a 45 EDC pistol. Just do some research beforehand so you know which one is the best option for you. Either way, I think you'll like them even if you're not normally a fan of Glock. I'm not a Glock guy, but I really do enjoy the Glock 30. It is most definitely dog pound approved. Don't forget to get entered to win a free gift since we are currently running our 5,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway contest as we speak. All you have to do to get entered into the contest is post the following comment down in the comment section of this video. Dog Pound Family. You get one chance to win and there is no limit on the amount of entries you can have. In other words, post often and post a lot. Once we reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers, the contest will end and Tammy will draw one lucky winner who will receive a very cool prize at absolutely no cost to the winner. It's just our way of saying thank you for supporting us and for being a part of our growing family. After all, we couldn't do this without you guys. Please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider smashing that subscribe button as well. This way you won't miss out on any new content and it helps the channel out tremendously. And it doesn't cost you anything but a few seconds of your time. Thank you to the following businesses for all the help they've given to the channel. Steel's Gun Shop, Splatter Burst Targets, Timber Trail E-Bikes, The Scent Stopper, Schrader's Outdoors, Hex Stealth Screen, and Carlson's Choke Tubes. 
We couldn't do this without their support. So, until next time, spend time with those that mean the most to you in the great outdoors. Time spent with them is always time well spent. Have fun shooting, stay safe, and most importantly, God bless you and yours. I'm M Dog, and I'll see y'all next time on the Dog Pound. Glock 30 45 ACP Gen 3. And this, my family, yep, stubby dude with an attitude, but it's a bad dude, and we gone. Boom!